Okay, this video is for those students who have the code for the line tracker where the uh, robot will follow the colored line based on the amount of reflected light um, forever. You'll see the condition if reflected light is greater than 50%, then start moving left. Else, meaning otherwise, if it's less than 50%, move right. All right, well, in order to adjust our code today, we need to get the if loop out of the forever. So you can drag it out, and get rid of the forever loop, just like that. All right, what you need to do is grab from the control blocks, the one that says repeat until. I'll zoom in a little bit here so you can see that. Repeat until, and our if will go back inside. So it will still check the amount of reflected light for greater than 50% or less than, but it will only do it until a certain amount of time has passed. And so we're going to leave that blank for right now, and we're going to go create a variable. A variable is a word that holds some amount of data. You can see I've already done it. I've created one called a counter. What you'll need to do is click make a variable and type in this word counter, C-O-U-N-T-E-R, and click OK. So as I mentioned, uh, and pause the video if you need to, I'm just going to keep jugging along here. As I mentioned, a variable is a word that holds some amount of data. Well, we're going to tell the game that, or not the game, our program, when program starts, set our variable called counter to zero. Okay, we're going to make our own timer. Then you're going to go to control, and you're going to bring out a forever. And then inside of here, you're going to put a repeat. So when the program starts, set our counter to zero forever. It's going to repeat what's ever inside of here. Well, we're going to have it keep repeating this block here. Change counter by one. But it's not going to change the counter by one as fast as the computer can process. We need it to change the counter by one every second. So what you do is add this block from control. Wait one second. And then it'll change the counter by one. Wait a second and change the counter by one. So it's our own timer that we can use. And that way, we can tell the robot that once the counter has reached a certain amount of time, stop and wait until a new time passes. Okay, so pause the video if you need to create your timer block using your own variable. Okay, let's keep moving along. You're going to go to operators, which is the green uh, selection of blocks here, and you want the one that's in the middle that says equals. Okay, and snap it into your repeat until. Well, we're going to tell the program that until the counter equals an amount of time that we say, keep checking the line. This is the first stop on your showcase project. When your robot is ready to drive and then stop for the first time, how much time needs to have passed? How many seconds? I'm going to say just for this example today, 10 seconds. Check the line until the counter reaches 10, and then it will stop moving. You can see that block here at the bottom, stop moving. All right. And to make things easy, you can put your mouse on the repeat until. And like we've practiced with the right click is with two fingers. You're going to lightly tap on the keyboard or on the mouse and choose duplicate. Now that takes a little bit of practice, so please pause the video if you need to. But once again, you need to duplicate with two fingers. You'll tap on your mouse and choose duplicate. Okay, You're going to drag that over to the side. All right. Uh, believe it or not, we're almost done here. You're going to go to events now and grab the block. It's the shortest block that says when. Most of the event blocks all deal with a condition based on time, when something occurs. So we're going to say when our counter equals a time. 
So notice I'm setting up this just as we did before with an operator, the equals, when counter equals, we're going to put in 40, it will start checking the line again until we're ready for it to stop. So we're just going to look at this. This is some math here. This will take some practice and some timing. But what I've done is said, check the line until the counter is 10. And then it'll stop moving. But remember, the counter runs forever. We said, change it by 1 forever. Every second, add 1. So it'll stop after 10 seconds, but the counter keeps going until it reaches 40 seconds. That is a total of 30 seconds that has passed while it stopped. Okay, so it stopped at 10, it waited until a total of 40, and then it starts driving again until the counter reaches 50. So once again, it only drove for 10 seconds. It waited for 30 from 10 seconds all the way to 40. It waited for 30 seconds, but only drove again 10 seconds and then stopped moving. So you're going to, one more time, or however many times you need, duplicate this so it stops every time you need when you need it to. So if we were going to talk for 30 seconds again, we said drive here until it reaches 50 and then stop. Well, 50 plus 30 is 80. When it reaches 80, it'll start driving. We're going to say drive again for 10 seconds. 80 plus 10 is 90. And then we duplicate it again. Drive until 90 seconds. Okay. Add 30 seconds to that. 90 plus 30 is 120. It's going to stop for that 30 seconds. This whole time you're talking about your project, talking about the location on your map where your robots arrived. And then it'll drive for 10 more seconds until it reaches 130 and stop. Okay, so you're going to have to experiment with those times to make it work for your presentation. But I'll zoom out so you can see all of the code here. I hope you found this helpful, and uh, good luck in your coding.